friends in today's video we are going to see how control valve works in pneumatic system you will also understand what is the role of pneumatic positioner friends in the pneumatic control system control valve is the final control element after the control valve a sensor is used which senses the process variable and also transmits the signal like feedback here you may also be asked a question in interviews what is the function of sensor so you can reply easily to control process parameters pneumatic control valve is installed in a process line process parameters are controlled automatically by using a controller these controllers may be pid controller or PLC DCS controller. Friends, let us understand the process parameters a bit. Process parameters are those parameters which are controlled in a process. Friends, when we do any production or control machinery, so various parameters like pressure, temperature, level, flow, these are controlled. Because these parameters have to be controlled, that's why all these are process parameters. Process parameters are also known as process variables. Friends, here now pay attention to one understandable thing: the parameter which the control valve controls is named accordingly, such as to control a pressure. It is pressure control valve. or you might have seen it written as pcv similarly to control temperature it is temperature control valve or tcv and level control valve means lcv flow control valve means fcv etc friends now let us see the air flow diagram of the control valve which is very important for you to know it is very important whether you are an instrumentation engineer or technician you must know about this look friends the pneumatic signal comes from the main air line here we have shown you the use of i to p converter the signal from the main air supply through the air filter regulator will be passed to the i to p converter in this air filter regulator means AFR we will set the air pressure to 1.5 kg per square centimeters because 1.5 kg per square centimeters air supply is provided to i to p converter you should set it according to your valve positioner from the main air supply itself another AFR is attached and air from this is supplied to the pneumatic positioner it is given on the supply air port of the pneumatic positioner apart from i to p converter in other valve positioners this afr is not required the output signal of i to p converter is given to the valve positioner this is usually connected to the positioner's instrument air gauge and the output signal of the valve positioner is given to the control valve 4 to 20 milliampere signal will be given to i to p converter or valve positioner as soon as 4 to 20 milliampere signal will be given to i to p converter i to p converter according to the signal gives air signal to the pneumatic positioner which is given on the instrument air port of the pneumatic positioner according to this signal coming from i to p converter pneumatic positioner operates the control valve friends the pneumatic positioner has a pressure gauge which shows the output air signal this output air signal is given to the control valve control valve operates when signal is given because control valve is the final element in this control process 
Hence, it is also called, final control element. So, from here, your doubt is cleared, why, control valve is called the final control element? So friends, in this way, the control valve operates, according to the 4 to 20 milliampere signal. Friends, now we know more closely, about the control valve, in the pneumatic system. Here, you will also understand, how a closed loop is formed in a control valve. Look friends, from any controller, 4 to 20 milliampere signal is sent, to the control valve positioner. This positioner can be I to P converter, electro pneumatic positioner, or smart positioner. After this, the control valve operates according to that signal. When the control valve opens, the flow passes through that pipeline. Due to which, any level, temperature, pressure, flow these are controlled. Sensors are used to measure parameters. This sensor normally gives 4 to 20 milliampere signal output. The 4 to 20 milliampere signal from the sensor is sent to the controller as a feedback. So friends, in this way, a control loop is formed. One point you need to keep in mind that a bypass line is also provided with the control valve so that, in case of control valve failure, the parameters can be manually maintained, from the bypass line. So, that was our today's video, hope you liked this video, so, share the video, and, subscribe to our channel.